Hi, it's Frank from Man Lake, and today we're going to talk a little bit about getting our hives ready for winter. Now, there are a few things we need to do when we take our hives into winter. Two of the things we should have already done. One, taking care of our mites. Two, ensuring that we've got enough feed on this colony to get through winter. Those have been done. We're coming into October very soon, November. We want to make sure that we've got this hive sealed up and we've taken care of the one major issue other than the feed and the mites, moisture control. So what we're going to do today is put an insulating wrap on this colony. It's called a bee cozy. This will wrap around the outside and it does two things. One, it keeps the warmth inside the colony, which allows the bees to move up through that capped honey up toward the top of the colony throughout winter. They're not, they get a little bit warmer. They don't stay so cold when the temperatures drop and they're able to move. A lot of times we have issues where our cluster may not be big enough and our bees actually starve in place. They don't freeze, they starve in place. This bee cozy will help them stay a bit warmer so that smaller cluster just might make it through the winter by moving up. So it's black, both sides, inside, outside, black plastic with insulation in between. So we may get a little thermal you know, uh, heat from the outside, a little radiant heat, but what it does do is keep the heat in. So all we do is we could remove the outer cover and we just slide this down over our colony. So we've got it down over the colony now. We want to make sure that we don't close that entrance up. There's room for those bees to get in and out, which we'll take care of in a minute. So we've got this around it. We protect it now. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to control moisture. How do we do that? One, there's a few ways. One of the ways is use something called a quilt box. It's a box with a screen on the bottom that we're going to place on top. We're going to take our inner cover off. We're going to put this on top and we're going to fill it with an absorbent material. I like to use burlap because burlap's reusable. Come spring I could take it, dry it out, and reuse it the next year. So we're going to put that in this quilt box, spread it around, and as those bees give off moisture, bees give off a lot of moisture in the winter time. Just like we do when we breathe in a room, they do as well. They're enclosed, they're giving off that moisture. We need something to absorb that so it doesn't freeze under the inner cover, thaw, and drip on our bees and kill them. So we've got this insulating middle layer between the inner cover and our bees. So we've done both of those things now. We put the lid, the inner cover back on, and we can put the outer cover back on. The last thing we need to do is ensure that we don't get mice in our colony. Mice love to go into the colony in the wintertime. So it's a warm place for them to raise their babies. There's a lot of food in there. The bees are in clusters, so they're not going after those mice like they would the rest of the year. So we've got to put something on called a mouse guard. It's got holes in it to allow our bees to go out in the wintertime on a warm day to take that cleansing flight they need, but these holes are small enough that the mice can't get in. We've got two holes in the bottom of this that allows us to attach it to the bottom board. I generally will use something like a sheetrock screw, or you could even use thumbtacks if you like. We're going to place it on the bottom like this. We're going to put thumbtacks to, or screws to hold it in place. And that's all we've got to do to prep this hive for wintertime. If you've done these three things, you've upped the chances of your bees surviving through the wintertime. So if you like this video, please subscribe. We will have more videos coming.